All right, now we had the recent CPI data come out at 6.5% at an estimated 6.5%. So it's neutral news, but apparently the market already had it priced in. Now I want to talk about this today. The 6.5% expected just because it was 6.5% does not mean that is good news, right? The Federal Reserve will still continue to raise interest rates over the next year just at a slower pace or will it be at a slower pace? See, we had, in my opinion, this BS market pump all the way back up to $399, which it is seeing resistance between right here and 404 right this five dollar zone in my opinion the spy is about to get smacked but again i could be wrong i'm just a dude on youtube and we also had this bs global cryptocurrency pump right the market cap of crypto reclaimed 1 trillion you saw doge reclaim 12 billion and you saw bitcoin reclaim 20,000 i might be thinking well yeah retail is excited about this cpi print retail doesn't have any money you take a look at the personal savings rate overall, it is at a very dangerous level. It's at a super, super low level, but it's not just the people that are in trouble. Even though the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates, the Federal Reserve and the government as a whole is in a lot of trouble. Okay, so the personal savings rate is at 2.1%. Another reason I don't think the SPY and, and Bitcoin and crypto and the market as a whole being pumped is a legitimate pump. Now take a look at this. S&P Global Ratings is warning the world is at risk of a crisis as governments, households, and financial institutions binge on debt. Global debt racing to 366% output and then you see the interest expense on u.s public debt rose to 775 billion over the past year a record high if it continues to increase at the current pace it will soon be the largest line item in the federal budget surpassing social security now on top of that the fed sent 76 billion to treasury in 2022 and it is now sending 650 million to banks every single day where is this coming from right why so many banks borrowing money why so many specific banks targeting gold and targeting switching to cbdc now there's a ton of things we can get into such as the us dollar collapsing other currencies but we're going to leave that all for another video you can see where the us dollar is coming out right now as soon as it hits a top leaving this falling channel it gets slaughtered to the downside and you could see crisis come but that's that's besides the fact that doesn't even have to be included in this video right Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen told congressional leaders Friday the U.S. would hit its debt limit next week, setting up a showdown between the White House and House Republicans who have vowed to tie any cre increase in the debt ceiling to spending cuts. The nation will reach its $31.4 trillion borrowing limit on January 19th, Yellen said in a letter, adding that the Treasury Department will begin implementing so-called extraordinary measures to manage the government's cash flow if lawmakers don't act to raise it. While Treasury is not currently able to to provide an estimate of how long extraordinary measures will enable us to continue to pay the government's obligations, it is unlikely that cash and extraordinary measures will be exhausted before early June, Yellen wrote in a letter. If the debt ceiling isn't raised and the government goes into default, essentially unable to pass its bills, it could be disastrous for the American economy and financial markets. So one week, January 19th, the government will reach its debt ceiling. It is unlikely that cash and extraordinary measures will be exhausted before early June. So we're in trouble. And the financial markets as a whole, besides the fact, are not ready to have a pump, in my opinion. I'm just a guy. I don't get financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, etc., etc. But the facts I'm bringing you should worry you going forward. And in my opinion, the way I want to play this out is to sell my long-term portfolio and just sit on my hands until the market reaches a lower low, right? Under 353. And you might be asking, okay, lottery stocks, I believe you, but what happens if the US defaults on their debt. This is exactly what happens. Let me be clear. This would be a catastrophic outcome. And this catastrophe would occur on two dimensions. The first relates to the financial system and macro economy. If Congress does not take action to raise the debt limit, Treasury's cash balance will reach an insufficient level to pay the nation's bills. And America would default for the first time in history. And default will call into question the full faith and credit of the United States. Our country would likely face a financial crisis, causing interest rates to rise quickly and restricting access to credit. Our fragile re recovery would be thrown into reverse. We would likely experience a recession. Millions of jobs would be lost, and the pain would endure well past the resolution of the crisis. 
the second catastrophe would be borne by all the Americans who directly receive any sort of payment from the federal government. Every Social Security beneficiary, every family receiving a child tax credit, every military family waiting for a paycheck, or small business owners receiving a federal loan, they're all at risk. Millions are without sufficient savings to forego an expected check. And for these households and businesses, the impact would be devastating. Now we took a look at the personal savings rate earlier in the video and this shows that majority of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck already and we're going to touch on why that matters in a second. Credit card balances reached a record setting of $866 billion in the third quarter of last year which represents a year over year increase of 19%. Now some things that would happen right? Restricted access to credit. How do you guys think that is going to affect these short positions on AMC and shorts on other stocks? who are essentially trapped in plays like AMC, GameStop, Bed Bath & Beyond, etc. A financial system crash, aka a recession, a bad recession, interest rates would rise even faster, which essentially, even if that did happen, that would spook the market as a whole, spook investors in general if interest rates rose even faster. Millions of jobs would be lost, and anybody receiving government pay, including Social Security and small business loans, are at high risk, right? You can take a look right here. The 13 week treasury bill is at a very, very high level. Now, I don't have a crystal ball. And of course it's good to be greedy when others are fearful. That is exactly how people become rich, right? Load up on the market, dollar cost average, even in bear markets, also on crypto in general. But remember when all of the banks were saying there's going to be a horrible recession and then they all came out randomly, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, other banks, they all came out randomly and said, you know what? A recession is probably not the case. And if it is the case, it's going to be mild. And then all of a sudden you see crypto getting a little bit of a pump, the market getting a little bit of a pump, and then them finally coming out and saying that retail finally sold right after at the same time they're doing this after they said retail has to sell for the market bottom. So all of these banks and here it is right for right here for you. All of these banks are saying, you know, let's make everybody think the market bottom, right? Even though the U S government could potentially default and cause all of this to come crashing down, right? This is where the big players make money off. In my opinion, uh, it's a risky bet. And even if I buy into the market later, it has an average return of eight to 12% and I'll be safe anyway. So essentially guys, you let me know in the comments what you are doing going forward. And you let me know how you think this is going to affect AMC. In my opinion for AMC, we're going to have a nasty run next week unless market makers do their best to keep it low due to those yearly expirations coming out next week. Next week is going to be a very vol volatile week for AMC, GameStop, Bed Bath & Beyond and other stocks like that with hundreds of thousands of calls expiring out of the money, some even in the money now after this week's decent rips. Now I saw a bunch of you guys were satisfied with your free stocks and free money essentially. If you guys haven't done so, my link will be put in the top comments or in the description for you guys to download Moomoo, sign up on your phone or computer it takes two minutes and the deposit it can literally be a penny deposit Mumu will give you free stocks the more you deposit and then you will get a chance to win sixty thousand dollars so up to 15 free stocks and a chance to win 60k for doing absolutely nothing and using a commission free trading app that gives you level two order book data for free so you can see where whales are loading up and dropping off shares access to options trading going long going short further expirations a customizable earnings calendar access to crypto other exchanges and more so again guys my link will be pinned in the top comments and in the description however we do have 200 50 plus members in the discord of amazing people who are completely active including myself so if you guys want more activity with me stock trading alerts in the discord people chit chatting all day dropping news in there dropping plays in there and essentially just making a ton of money and posting their gains and losses make sure to join the discord that will be linked in the description i love you all lottery stocks out